In this video, we will solve an example molecular species balance problem. And so if you want, you can pause the video here and attempt to solve this problem using molecular species. So let's get started. Just to recap for the molecular species balance, you can take a look at this formula and this is how we will be solving this problem. And so let's get started. First, we will get a degree of freedom. So DOF, um, how many unknowns do we have? Um, we have two unknowns. We have N1 and N2. And with molecular species, we need to consider the chemical reaction. So we can write chemical reaction. And how many chemical reactions do we have? So we only have one chemical reaction, just this one. So we can say this is plus and this is also plus. So important, chemical reaction, you consider it as an addition. And now we need to know how many balances, how many molecular species do we have? We have three, one, two, three. So balances, uh, molecular species balance. So we have minus three. So two plus one minus three would give us zero. And so we can solve this problem. So let's get started. So we can now do H2. We'll do an H2 balance. So with H2, it's going to be like a generation is equal to output. And we're given that H2 is this number, 60. So we can just write this down, that it's going to be 60 kilomoles of H2 per minute. Now this will help us solve the other two components. So we want to know uh, C2, H6, a balance for it. And so with C2, H6, there's an input, there's an output, and so there will be a consumption. So input is equal to output plus what is being consumed because it was here and this, react, this component is being consumed in order to produce these two things. However, they're, not all of it will be consumed. So some of it will you know, go from here to here. It will go untouched. So that's what we're kind of trying to find. We're, find, we're finding C2H6 as an output. And so we have going in is 200. So 200 is going in for kilomoles of you know C2H6 per minute and output we do not know which is N1 so output is N1 plus consumption so now this is where this 60 comes to play so we have 60 kilomoles of H2 which is being generated so gen and we know that one kilomole of H2 being generated so one kilomole of H2 being generated would only occur if you consume one kilomole of C2H6. So we'll write one kilomole of C2H6. And by doing this, we can easily get N1. So this would be 60. 200 minus 60 would give us N1 would equal 140 uh, kilomoles of C2H6, you know, divided by minutes. So this is our first answer, and now we just need to get N2. N2 is very much similar to this, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, N2 would be a C2H4 balance, and with, with C2H4, it's going to be generation is equal to output. So gen is equal to output. And so we know that 60 kilomoles of H2 gas is being generated. And we know that one kilomole of H2 gas that's being generated would produce one kilomole of C2H4 because it's a one to one ratio. And so that means that N2 is equal to 60 kilomoles of C2H4 per minute. And that is the final answer. Now we can just do a quick check. So if we have in the product stream, we have N1 is 140 and N2 is 60 and H2 is 60. 
that it would produce 260 kilomoles. And you would say that, oh, it's not balanced. It's, you know, this is 200 and here you have 260. But that's not the case because C2H4 plus H2 combined is like this. So C2H4 plus H2, if they are the same, 60 and 60, that would be 60 here plus 140. So it, it's as though you have 60 plus 140 to get the 200. So that's why they are equivalent. And that's all you need to do for this problem.